After several failed appeals, a Bay County man who's been sitting on Florida's death row for 35 years was put to death about an hour ago. Daryl Barwick killed Rebecca Went at a local apartment complex in 1986. News 13's Tom Lewis is in Rayford, where the execution took place not long ago. And Tom, there are always witnesses in place for an execution. Today, you were one of those witnesses. I was one of the media representatives, Amy. Yeah, there was four of us in the room. There was about 18 to 19 official witnesses. I asked who those people were, if there were any relation to the case at all. And it turns out that they really weren't uh, any relation to the, the Daryl Barwick uh, family or his relatives, nor Rebecca Went, the victim, the woman that he killed back in 1986 at her apartment in Springfield. Um, oddly enough, um, those witnesses stood there or sat there in the first couple of rows of that room, a 10 by 20 room with a big, large mirror in there that viewed right into the chamber where Daryl Barwick was strapped to a gurney and was executed by lethal injection. The witnesses watched the entire execution. I didn't see anybody turn away. I never saw a tear shed. The room was definitely silent. Nobody said a word for a half an hour from the time we went into the room at quarter to six Eastern time until the time the sentence was completed and Daryl Barwick was killed. Uh, that uh, was pronounced uh, dead at 6, 5, uh, pardon me, 614 this evening, Eastern time. Of course, he's been on death row here at the state prison in Rayford for 37 years since he was sentenced here back in 1987. Of course, re-sentenced in 1993, I believe, in a second uh, trial that happened there. Oddly enough, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court declared the death penalty unconstitutional back in 1972. Then that ruling was over return and the state of Florida reenacted the death penalty in 1975, I believe, 76 in that ballpark. Uh, the first execution didn't take place in Florida until 1979. Daryl Barwick became the 102nd person executed since the death penalty was reinstated. And we've got a protest that was happening out here across from the prison at the same time this was all taking place. We're going to have more details on that and get some reaction from some of those people who are against the death penalty coming up tonight on News 13 at 10. Amy. All right, Tom, thank you so much for that live report from Rayford, and we'll look forward to your report tonight on News 13 at 10.